the, the, I remember one word from when I was a young boy, which was uh, chukle tango, I think, if that's what I'm not butchering, if I am, please, Chinese people, forgive me, um, which means chocolate cake. So I knew that and I knew my address, which was yi ho wong ni chung gato. So now if I'm in a cab and I forget where I'm going or I can't remember where I'm going, I say chukle tango, the guy looks at me a little funny. Happens to have chocolate cake there, so it works out well. But what I find funny about Hong Kong, one thing I find funny is everyone says to me, the other day I went to Kowloon, all my friends on the Hong Kong side are like, you went to the dark side. You went to that side, the dark forest, like you got swallowed up by the world. Where did you go? How could you go there? It's a tunnel ride away. I literally, when people say the dark side, I thought I was going to go there, Darth Vader was going to be there, I'd be swallowed up, I'd suddenly be like, you know, like walking around as a robot. Um, but I went there and I had great Chinese food, you know? It's crazy. And I think Hong Kong people are, I look at them as people who play full out. In their work, they, they go at it. 100%, I will work hard, I will make the most of every single moment. And it just seems like you work hard, now let's play hard. You know, it's tension and release, and that's what life is. It's that moment of, you know, tension and working hard and, and, and putting your nose to the grind, but then also the moment to play, to enjoy it. Otherwise, there's no fulfillment. Otherwise, just work, 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 and there's nothing there. There's nothing to look forward to. Why are you working? If you're working so hard with your family to make all this money, and you come home and you can't enjoy it with your kids, well, when will you enjoy it? Why not enjoy it today? Why not be in the moment? Why not be wealthy instead of rich? I'm not saying laughter is the best medicine. I'm saying laughter is something right now in a world of stress, in a world of overwhelm, in a world of frustration. What costs nothing but allows us to connect to others in an instant? Laughter. Costs nothing. You know, when people watch Seinfeld, they're going, ah, that happened to me. You know, truth is what's funny. It's not jokes, it's not knock-knock jokes, it's, it's the truth of life. And, if we, and all of us have, you know, all of us live, so we all have access to life. And it's just tapping into the truth of our own experience and saying, okay, how can we use it? And stand-up can be a very difficult place. And it, it depends, it challenges you in terms of, I believe, it, it brings the best or the worst out of you. It brings your aggression out or brings your caring out. And I've had both experiences. I performed in London where I got on stage and someone racially abused me strongly. And I remember I turned to anger. I said, I'm gonna hit this person, let's go. And I fought them, I used anger, and I tried to knock that person down. Because they were attacking me, I have to attack them back. And I lost my audience. Gone. That was it. I alienated my entire audience. Three months ago, in San Diego, I'm on stage. I get up there, and again, someone racially abuses me in the audience. A guy says, so what's the dot for? Why do Indian people wear dots? I looked at him, I smiled, and I said, target practice. Uh, and there's this whole thing about making fun of Indian people, but it wasn't like, oh, Indian people, these crazy people, look at them, whatever. It was like, yeah, we're hairy. Yeah, I have a big nose. Yeah, I like spicy food. Yeah, my parents want me to be a doctor. Whatever it is, I just went on that riff, but not to push my culture down, but to celebrate it and say, okay, I love who I am. I'm Indian. That's cool. What do you have next? Let's go, let's go, let's go. I made jokes about myself. Going, 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 going. I did 15 minutes of this. At the end of the show, I get off stage, I get a standing ovation, and the first person to give me a high five was that guy. Because for me, I didn't say, this is pain, I'll fight you. I said, this is pain, but it's the pain that is me. It's a pain that, is, that I've dealt with, and, I, and I'm the other side of now. It's not the pain of, I'm Indian, look at me. It's, I'm Indian, I love who I am. It's that thing of, like, goodness gracious me, went to the place of uni finding universalities in humor, and it's taking the Indian lens, the Indian experience, and globalizing it. And what it did was, it opened people's minds. People go, oh, I can now relate to these people at a different level. I can understand and appreciate them. I have insights into their culture in a different level, and it changed the consciousness. I implore you, I encourage you, step out of yourself. You have a rich life. Appreciate it, and give that gift of laughter to others. It'll fill you up inside. It's transformed my life. I know will yours.